Hello friends, welcome to our channel CNC Programming and Dye Board. And today we are going to go over this constraint portion. And in constraint, we have two type of constraint. One is dimensional constraint, and second is geometrical constraint. So let's start with the geometrical constraint. Or uh, before starting our tutorial, I will request you please subscribe our channel, share our channel. So in this geometrical constraint we can specify the geometry and the relation between the two lines curves or points what we want to define in our sketch the first we have this constant constant will automatically match two point with this option constants constant will match point or align sorry not possible uh, let's draw a line hmm. again I will choose this consonant I want to consonant this point to this point so both the point will automatically automatically come at a single point and again second point we have this point on curve and with the help of this constraint we will define a point on a specific a specific line or axis so I want to constrain this point with respect to this vertical axis so let's start with point on curve I want this point this curve on this point the so both will collinear with each other or it is constant automatically again we have this point point on curve I want this midpoint constant with this horizontal axis next we have the tangent so these two line and circle are tangential with each other or I have draw one more circle but it is not tangent with this line now I want to tangent this circle with with this line just click the line it is not properly because we have not selected this tangential option tangent this curve will tangent with this line okay or this curve must be tangent with this line for this this line has to be urgently then only both tangent will match let's undo this again select this and next option we have the parallel parallel if you want to parallel certain line then we use this parallel or use geometrical constraint I want to match this point with this consonant I use this consonant and for this parallel I want to parallel these two lines the both will parallel with each other again perpendicular if you want to draw a perpendicular then we use this perpendicular means angle between two lines is, will be 90 degree the angle is 90 degree between this line horizontal and vertical both are very simple let's draw I have this line and one this line again this line and this line now I want to define this line as a horizontal or vertical so I choose first this horizontal horizontal when you click over the line the line will convert into a horizontal line same as the vertical just click over the line and line will automatically in the vertical direction uh, let's choose next point horizontal align if we want to align two entity 
uh, and the entity may be a point may be a circle may be a line if you want to align to one this point and this this line as a horizontally alignment so just choose this horizontal line and the first this point and second is this point the so both point will horizontally align with the help of this command and vertical align I want to align this point to this both will vertically align if you will move this point automatically second line second point will move with respect to first one midpoint this is also a good point I want to match this point at the mid of this line automatically it will match and do or choose again this point will match at the mid of this line this is match now collinear if you want to match two line collinear then use this collinear this line and this line both will collinear so this will be the result next we have the concentric just draw a circle it may be bigger or smaller concentric means it will make two circle or two arc concentric let's delete it and then equal length this is also important and while we are draw we draw anything we use this i want to define these two line as a equal distance And the last option we have this equal radius if you want to equal two radius then choose this I want this radius and this radius must be equal we use this if you will change this radius to 20 automatically both radius will reduce and in geometrical constraint we have two more options this is if you want to select first geometry and click over the two second and if you selected this automatically select progression so automatically it will jump to second option okay uh, without this if I will choose this line this point and now if you want to choose this so both point will come in the first selection box if you want to select the third option you have to click on the second tab and now click third one okay or we have this is better option just click first and it will jump over the second selection automatically if you select this automatic selection both will coincident with each other so it is very helpful and very very useful in all the 3d softwares in nx it is also very important so that's all for today see you then have a great day